about any time you deal with a road, you're dealing with road ecology. We can't just deal with a road. We have to think about wildlife, all sorts of different things like that. I mean, we're not just managing for one thing. It's, it's everything. Hey, my name is Whisper Camel, and I am a wildlife biologist for the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes. Uh, my main objectives and job is to deal with road ecology and dealing with these wildlife crossing structures like you can see behind me. We have digital cameras set up in a lot of the structures so that we can get pictorial evidence round the clock for as long as we want the animals are actually crossing through the structures. The last one we saw was about 18 feet by 24 feet. These are 4 feet by 4 feet. This is one of our smaller wildlife crossing structures. They're more geared towards small mammals. Um, mountain lions or bobcats will use these because they like a more confined space that's more secure for them. There are different areas that the highway goes through that are tribal lands. It's a mix match of tribal, private, state, and federal lands all along the highway between Evro and Polson. So they're not all tribal lands that we're working on, but many are. There is nowhere else in the United States that has this much fencing and as many wildlife crossing structures. It was a collaborative effort between the, fed, the state and the tribal departments, and it was put on natural movement corridors across the country. We have the ability as a sovereign nation to affect what goes on on the reservation. So we can push harder than maybe the state or local governments to get what we want.